Oh, today we're going to look at something very special. It's a Microchargers Pro Racing set. But my boy's going to help me, but I can't find him. Here I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting a bit boring doing that, isn't it? That was his um, that was his little idea to do that start, and I just had to run with it. Uh, this looks very interesting. I've looked at Microchargers a fair bit on my channel, and I've never been disappointed. Hey, do you want to get into this play set? Yeah, so does Daddy. Oi, oi, oi. What's with the oi, oi? Oi, oi, Come on, let's unbox this toy. I want to see what it's like. Whoa, there goes the pig and the Paw Patrol. The Paw Patrol was something I got for my boy for when he turned five. He was desperate for that toy, and what's happened is the Paw Patrol is oh basically oh sold my... out. Oh my, God. my goodness me. The blue track, I have seen one other set. I did the squid set with the blue track. Yeah. So, how many know this one loads in the dark? No, but there's glow in the dark cars you can get. And it's interesting you should bring that up actually. Yeah. I bought some of the pro cars. These cars are a bit different yeah. to the earlier series of microchargers cars. And there's also ones that do light up and they will glow in the dark. <gasps> what is it? Ooh. Looks sort of special, doesn't it? It's help. Oh yeah. This does look very different to other sets that we've got. I think the cars are more detailed. You can recharge on track. This was a $34 set where I purchased it. Yes, and for what I can see that oh this car set was actually selling very well. There's a little car there. Hang on, what are we looking at over there? I'm being directed here by my son. Yeah. Ooh. You have to charge it. Yeah, charge it and release the car by the looks of it. One thing Daddy's looking for is the instructions here that are at the bottom there. I'll have to carefully look through that to work out how to put this place together. Dad. Well, it wants to go like that, and then turn, and then it's the one behind. Yeah. We've had a lot of fun with microchargers play sets um, in our house. This would have been something I would like to give my son for Christmas, but um, because Daddy, I do tour reviews, Daddy, he gets an early preview. Oh, uh, yeah. Like a little pit stop thing. Yeah, it looks like pizza too. Oh, really? Look. Look at it. <laughs> I'm glad he's doing reviews because he's bringing a totally a new sort of talk to my toy reviews. Dad, they look like Hot Wheels track. Look. It, tell you what, something about this track is it will fit in to Hot Wheels track. It's got the same joiners yeah. as Hot Wheels track and that's something very important to know with microchargers. Dad? Yeah? Can you get the Hot Wheels track and then connect to Low Shack? Yeah, we can, but we just want to look at the microchargers. We want to look at this whole racing set, don't we? We don't want to get out the Hot Wheels yet. I know you do. You know, it's funny, I was actually thinking, well, where's the charger in this set? But it's actually part of the track system. You haven't got one of those little hand chargers that you normally have in microchargers. That's the charging system, which is in that. And it is interesting, they've really jazzed up the cars. Look at this. They look fantastic. I did buy some extra cars. And the playset instructions are here. And it's a bit of a daddy build. Looks quite impressive. It's a racetrack used with race cars, but I've found that the stunt cars and race cars work on both anyway. Well, I better get into this and build this place set up. What do you got there? What are you eating there? Some sort of berry drink, isn't it? Is that yeah. the secret to your review style? Yeah, and it's my favourite. It's your favourite, is it? The secret's out. It's that berry drink that gives him the energy for these reviews. What's your thoughts on that car there? It's very good. It's detailed, isn't it? Well, you show me how it charges, are you? Does it go like that? What happens next? Hang on, you haven't read the instructions yet. How do you know this? I know. Oh, fair enough. I hope that's right. I've got to put batteries in it yet, and it would zoom off, I think. Yeah. What's it about five-year-olds? They just sort of work stuff Dad, out, you Dad, know, real look. fast. Stops yeah. there. Yeah. And what happened? No. Is that right? Ta da <laughs> It's magic, isn't it? Yeah. You're building the track, are you? Yeah. Have you looked at the instructions yet? I mm -hmm. uh, don't think so. You know why? Because I shook you. <laughs> because they're over here. I know you've tricked me. You're often tricking me. It's a big daddy build. I better come in and do it and stop yabbering. Well, it hasn't taken very long at all. I've yeah, built a fair bit of this place set up. <laughs> My boy's playing with the car in the background. If you can hear me, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just following this picture here. Um, I've always found the microchargers place sets are pretty simple to work out. <laughs> it's a build. There's a car, road car on the track. <laughs> Um, <laughs> look, I'll just finish building it. I'm going to give up. Time to talk over that. 
Oh my goodness, there's actually two AA batteries in this part here. He wants to race already, can you see that? It's interesting, uh, <laughs> it's a car away already. To get understand this part here, you look at the exploded picture uh, here on that picture, but it's actually a very easy place to put together. My son has worked this place set out really fast. Uh, charge it up again, yeah, you divert it. Wow, he didn't need to be shown how to do this. I mean, this is why um, this is such an impressive toy. I first came across microchargers because I had an award on one of their first toys as a toy of the year. And, and you know, I can see this again in this place. That it's beautiful the way this plays out. Oh, there's been a stack, and it's classic microchargers form. That's what we would like to see. It's a great little action play set. If you like smashes, crashes, and thrashes, it's the sort of thing you'll enjoy. Okay, let us spin. Yeah, I've put my camera over these toys many times. Oh, car charging up there. Gonna release it. It really is fun. You know, this is um, toy car heaven in my mind. Yeah. I'm itching to have a play myself. That's how much I like this toy. Yeah, it's got a great pit stop. Uh, area here, you know, that'd be where the announcers are and racing on the car track today. What's that? A bit of a garage, some more garages along there where the pit crew would be. It's got a rostrum here, like first, second, and third. I've really done some thinking on this one. What are you up to there? What? Get the Paw Patrol off the track, they've got no right to be on there. They're doing some digging. Well, I will add to this playset uh, Big Rigs, Hot Rod XT, and Formula X. And my boy wants to open the cars because unboxing is all the fun of toys, isn't it? Children love opening up toys, I've noticed. Well, Formula X is up there racing around. Often a bit tricky to video these in the rogue manner that I've got at the moment. He needs to charge up by the looks of him. Single handed daddy, I don't know if I can do it. Come on, will it make it for a charge? Oh, even Daddy can do this. That's amazing, isn't it? I love that whirring sound. Microcharge is doing the charging up. And go. Go, go, go. Okay, we've got all the cars out and unboxed. Now, it's a bit of a management thing to try and keep these, char these cars charged up. And what you've got to look for is when a car starts to slow down, you've got to bring it back into the pit stop area and charge it. You understand that? Yeah. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how he goes managing this. We had a bit of a play before off camera. It was actually quite funny what started to happen. I hope it happens again. Just charging up our third racer there. Okay, let it go. Whoa, there's been a stack as they do. And the other one will come and clobber it. Oh, there they go again. This is classic microcharges action. Pretty close ra <laughs> racing. Okay, go, 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 go. Might have to charge the slowest one up. Come on, that's it. I'm sort of helping here. Oh my wow, through all um, time management sort of thing. Let, let that one go. Okay, oh, there's been a big stack up under here. Come on, little cars. Whoa, it has been a massive stack up, actually. Off they go. Who's running slow at the moment? Oh, another stack. I'm going to try and get multiple cars running here. <laughs> I've had a couple of attempts, I was going to tell you. It's a real time management thing. Maybe running <laughs> over three cars becomes a bit of a nightmare. Okay, let that one go. It's charged. And the next one along, charge that one. And... <laughs> I've got, a, I've got the cars going crazy, as they do with microchargers. Come on, this, this little red one's caused havoc. Off he goes. Let it go, let it go, it's charged. You've got to listen to that sound very carefully. And we're charging up another one. <laughs> this car's crashing on the circuit. Let it go. And we'll bring in one which is running slow, which is this green one. We'll just make it round, I think. Oh. Oh no, we wanted to charge the green one, didn't we? And we've... <laughs> At <laughs> the chaos that goes on with microchargers. Cars are outside, we're charging one there. We'll charge up one next. There's a fight over here going on. Oh my goodness, there's going to be a slam dunk in a second. Oh, it's a big choke up. Oh yeah, I think maybe trying to run four cars in this circuit <laughs> is a bit tricky. You might try to stick to two. There's a slow car here. Okay, I freed up that one. Charge that one up. I'm just trying to help the sun here. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's chaos, this thing. But it's the jeopardy and fun that is um, 
classic sort of micro chargers. A lot of time management needed in this one to understand when to charge a car and when not to. Charge this one up, need to charge. And you really got to listen to the whirring sound to understand when to let it go. Oh, there's a bit of a slow one coming here. Can we get into a pit stop? Oh, we've got a all for a pit stop. Charge. Oh, <laughs> it's getting very messy, isn't it? We're going to race with just two cars. <laughs> just scratch them the way out of the pit stop. Oh, it's, um, it's, you yeah, sort of microcharges action cars just do anything. It's pretty close racing, actually. <laughs> Which one needs to charge? This one oh, No, it's going to be a T-bone. Bang. There's a car in for a pit stop there. <laughs> it's one which has just gone maniac. Oh dear. Another quick pit stop, let it go. Bring the other one for a pit stop. Bring the white car in for a pit stop. White car in. Go, go, charge it. That's it. Let it go. Yeah, it's one of these things you really got to listen to that charging sound, and it's your advantage to get that car back out, you know, as soon as you can. I think my son's starting to get the hang of it now. Bring another one for a charge, the slowest car in for a charge. And the rest of the um. Yeah, he likes to see them racing it around, which is fair enough. It's doing a mighty job at that. Oh, it looks like we're gonna um, we've got a winner in a second place. Who's second there? Who was second? That car there. That car's second, and the car which is running around has um, become first. Let's take a look at it on first. Most first and second place. You could put a third place if you had a third car racing. Let's give those other two cars a race. I have an imaginary race at the moment. <laughs> we're going to charge them up. We're just going to push them around. Yeah, they need a charge, don't they? I think we're having like imaginary Dad, crashes. Dad, yes. Dad, the, I see the white car did jump. Jump? Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I suppose if you saw it, that's all that really counts, isn't it? Enough of the sweet talk of, you know, imaginary crashes. Let's give them a charge. Oh no. We're changing cars. Daddy's idea was not a good idea, as usual. <laughs> the red car, that truck thing, is going in for charge. And when it sounds right, give it a race. I think it sounds pretty good, yeah. Get another car in there. That's a good one. All the fun of the fair, watching this place set in action, I tell you. I think one's getting slow, give it a charge. You've got to keep an eye on who's going slow. Oh, disadvantage there, because we really need to charge that red one. And it's just been spat out. I'm trying to get the charger's point of view here, over the back of the track. Okay, let it go. It's interesting, there's a lot of uh, time management with this playset. Understanding when to charge and when not to charge. My boy's five, he's just starting to get the grasp of it now. Maybe charge that one there. The red one, charge red one. Charge red one, that's it. Let it go fast and then come in and charge the green one fast. Yeah, I'm helping him here, showing him how to do it. That's it, charge the green one. Give it a bit of a charge and let it go. Let it go, that's it. It's had me go back and look at the box and what age is it for? So six years and up, I concur with that. So is there a winner of this race? Who's the winner? Have we got a first, second here? Who's the winner? That one, green car there. This one goes super fast. Oh, you like the truck one, do you? Yeah, he's got super fast. Then I charge the truck a lot, and then I let it, then I let it go, then it goes super fast. Yeah, it's all about knowing when to charge them and knowing when to let them go, isn't it? Yeah, you really got to listen carefully when you're in the charging area here. Uh, not to overcharge them, but just take the advantage of letting it go when it's got enough charge to race. I've just noticed I've actually got another one of the cars. It's a little police car by the looks of it. Uh, might give that a spin, eh? What do you think? Yeah. Something different, a bit of law enforcement on the track. Okay, we've got the police car out and we're going to give it a race. Charge it up, please. Ooh, that whirring sound, how's it sound? It sounds charged, let it go. What'd you find? Look. Okay, you could sort of, I think you can stack your cars in there. Yeah. Is that a storage area, is it, for the cars? Yeah. That's sort of a neat idea. Well, I'm glad my son saw that feature because Daddy here never would have noticed that one. Well, my son is enjoying this playset. 
I'm going to bring up a few other playsets onto the table here and have a bit of a chat. The first one I'm, I'm going to talk about is a Nano Speed playset that I purchased. I saw this being dumped for $10 here in Australia. Of course, I was curious about it, went out and bought it. One characteristic of the Nano Speed little cars was they were fairly realistic little vehicles, and you pulled them back to give them their power. But I had a lot of trouble um, getting this playset to function. I rarely could get the cars to go past maybe the first sections of this playset. I'm not sure if I ever achieved a car up the end here. Um, and it's funny, some people said to me, Leah, why don't you take a look at Nano Speed? Well, look, if I can't get a playset to function and be fun in front of camera, I'm never ever going to present it to YouTube. And that's the way I operate on YouTube. Basically, if it doesn't work properly, you're not going to sit on my channel. And to prove my point here, here's my son trying to operate this playset. And um, I'll just let him play out. You can watch this. Best if I say nothing, actually. That's it. Pull it back and let it go. That's it. Ah. Keep trying. You'll be here all day, I'm sure. That's it. Oh, got a bit, bit of a run there. That's it. Give it a run. Okay. Okay, let me have a go. I'll try and let me have a go. Let me. Have, let me. Okay, pull your back. It's making the clicking sounds and go. Same thing. Okay, yeah, same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, you know. Oh. There are some toys which are, well, we'll call them that. And there are these other toys which are excellent. Come on, I'm being really fair here. Come on, show me how it works. We're just having a bit of a fantasy play here at Cars Crashing. It's about the only play action you get on this is by fantasy there is no way i could make a nice video with this playset like i could with the one over the back there i've made lots of videos around those play sets some stunning videos and i've got a saying is that the good play sets make the great videos i couldn't get a car to get past this section here on this play set then again i did see this toy getting dumped uh, it was actually last christmas christmas of 2013 and i think when you see toys getting dumped for basically giveaway prices it sort of says a lot about the toy. You never see the good toys getting dumped at giveaway prices. That's one thing I'm sure of. Out of sheer curiosity, let me see if I can zap one of these, whatever they are, nano speed cars on a microcharger's track. They won't. It won't. Does this thing, I mean, they're great looking cars. It's just. Oh, I gave them one would charge it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, no, they don't charge. Yes, they don't have... yes they is. No, they they're just pullbacks. It's just a pullback car. Oh, well, do a bit of stunt spin there. That's about all I'll do. And just looking back, I mean, look how spectacular, <laughs> with the car getting thrown to the box there, look how spectacular the box artwork is on this set. Maybe I need to give this to someone else and they can show me how it works. Maybe, you know, Leo's being totally unfair here. And, you know, four in one nano speed rally cup set. Who out there's had that work for them? Please let me know. Are you enjoying that? And you know what? There's actually another play set that we looked at, it never made it to review. It's funny, if I have the play sets which um, are mediocre, maybe that's the nicest word to use. Those are my favorite. It's your favorite, but it wasn't daddy's favorite. But you, you, can, it, you can unlock all the cars you want. Yeah, you enjoyed the app, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I, he, he, he loved playing the app with the cars that jumped onto the, you know, the app, which is shown there, but the play set I've never used so much blue tack to hold a playset together before in my life, and what I didn't like about this toy was the price. Only but tail pods. I paid $59.95, call that five cents off $60 Only but tail for pods. that playset. And with my son slurping that drink there. So it was what, $34 for that? I think you can see what goes on with that playset there. Five cents off sixty dollars for that for me in Australia. I won't say anymore. I'll get in trouble. And that was being dumped, I think, for ten dollars down in my local Coles. And I think we've seen what that can and can't do. Dad, I want to play it on the Emmy Tail Pod. Only the app, not Slices. Slices sucks. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I think we better um. <laughs> leave it at that maybe i'll do a little video and i'll show you what exactly i don't like about that um 
like I said, before I get into any trouble. Okay, well, we better say thanks for watching and... Bye for now. Bye for now. Oh, no. <laughs> Not the time. <laughs> Thank you very much. Another <laughs> time. Double time. <laughs> and after that big lick of the lens, look who's going back to play with the microchargers. Oh, yeah. Let it go. We'll take on a bit at the end here. Oh. We've got the glow in the dark cars out. I'm gonna give them a spin. They look fantastic. Oh, there's a stack. A yellow car getting charged. Might have to charge that red one again. That's it, charge her up. Well, I have a bit of a surprise. It's been a long time. We're gonna have a giveaway. I have got one of these playsets, the microchargers playsets, not the nano speed one, to give away. It's unopened, it's fresh, it's brand new, and it needs a new owner who's going to love and appreciate it. To have a chance at nabbing this beautiful toy, leave a comment on this video and tell me about a toy which has not lived up to your expectations. Remembering I'm asking about a toy and nothing else. I know I've been stung by a few things in my life that I've seen. I thought, wow, that looks fantastic. And in the end, when you get it, you think, well, hang on a second. It doesn't look as good as what I saw on TV or on YouTube. So what's going on? More information about this giveaway will be down in the info of this video. Have a read of that, please. And good luck if you're entering. Okay, a second. Thanks for watching and bye for now.